Morning guys. Hey, here we are flipping customize. We're doing a actual snow pusher uh, plow assembly for actually for my tractor. I got a uh, 30 horse Bobcat that I got a three point hitch PTO for the back. And where is it right behind me there? Um, on the lightest storms, you, you just want, I use the bucket in the front. I'm trying to make something that will take less time. Um, something that, I mean, the tractor's good size, a full size large frame tractor. So it's got the pushing power. I picked up an older seven and a half foot Fisher uh, minute mount plow, not a minute mount plow, old school plow assembly here. And what I'm gonna do basically is turn this into a pusher. So this is not gonna, doesn't have the headgear. It's not gonna hydraulically angle. It's gonna slide like you'd see in the loaders uh, at the on the parking lots, the loaders, snow pushers with the little wings on the sides and whatnot. So hold on, I'll give you a quick preview. So this is it. This is an old uh, seven and a half foot Fisher's uh, Speedcast snow plow. Actually hard to find these up here in uh, New England that are not completely rotted out and nothing left to them from the 80s. Um, but I scored this one this summer pretty darn cheap. Uh, so it's perfect. It weighs about, I did the blade itself, I don't know, 300 pounds or so. Um, and what I did was I took the headgear off. As you see, I started marking it up. I got two by two, uh, three sixteenths wall square tubing. Um, it's just, everything's tacked into place. And what's basically gonna happen is the bucket itself, when I mocked it up, comes sliding into here. And I'm gonna have some of these stops along the way underneath here that are gonna, the, the uh, edge of the, the blade are gonna, are gonna hit that. And that's gonna stop the bucket from going in. Uh, from that point, there's gonna be some uh, 10,000 pound ratchet straps that'll connect to the bottom here, wrap around the bucket, just like a loader plow, and to the top here. So that's gonna keep this plow blade fixed hard to the tractor. And then beyond that, I'm gonna be putting some quarter inch, um, probably about one foot long uh, side wings welded on straight out with a bracket. Again, just like a parking lot pusher, just a lot smaller version, seven and a half feet wide for uh, my tractor for the driveway and around the shop here. Um, I think this will be speedy when it comes to like a six inch storm or less. Um, again, it's nothing super fancy. This is a real quick crude build. I don't even think I'm gonna paint it this year because the weather's turned. Uh, maybe, we'll see. If not, the, uh, the, the tubing will patina quite nicely by spring. Um, and we'll, either way, we'll give it a good coat of paint. Um, come springtime. But as you can see, that's the basic gist of the project. And like I said, it's just tacked up. Um, once I get the uh, stops for the bucket welded in and maybe the side wings, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to buy some plate steel for that or if I can salvage an old headboard quarter inch plate steel for the sides of this thing and plasma cut them out here. Um, we got the old Eastwood and uh, Lincoln stick and uh, Jags plasma, nothing fancy, but it uh, works for the amount of fabrication that we've been doing uh, recently in the shop. Definitely like the upgrade and will in the near future, I hope. But this is the gist of the project. Again, seven and a half foot Fisher, Speedcast snow plow pusher. And um, I'll give you some more updates as soon as I get some more steel in. All right, here's a better shot of the uh, stops that the cutting edge of the bucket are gonna go into. Again, this is just tacked in there. Uh, we're gonna burn them in real good later. But again, the bucket comes in into here and that, and that just gives it something to kind of force the bucket again between here and here um, to kind of wedge it in there. And then again, the straps will go over the back to the top of the plow blade here. But if we have three of them stops installed, one on each bracket, so that should do the trick. Like I said, this is all just tacking it all in and fitting it up and we'll burn everything in after that um, and go from there and then cut our slots with the plasma for the straps and then work on the sides. All right, guys, here it is. Who said I can't weld out of position? Well, the answer to that is you just move the welding piece to the position you can weld in, <laughs> something like that. So anyway, all the braces for the snow pusher are nail burned in completely full weld 7018 eighth inch running about 110 amps on the plow so she's all burned in i got to pick up the steel on monday to do the um pusher plates excuse me yeah the side wings for the and the braces which are going to go up into here um they kind of give you a look they're kind of going to go in this area here and come off 
And actually what I'm gonna do is I have a three point hitch snowblower for the tractor as well. And these are the shoes that go in the snowblower that I uh, haven't used in years because I run the snowblower on the shoes that are welded on the base. So I'm gonna put these on the side wings up into there, up there. I mean, actually, kind of like so. So they would attach to the side wings like that on the snow So that's that's the gist of it. Um, I'll get another clip when uh, I get the steel to do the side wings. All right, guys, I apologize. I haven't uh, given some more updates as far as how far along I've come on the process of doing the snow pusher out of a seven and a half foot Fisher plow. So I got full weld now on the back braces. Uh, I just cut a couple slots where the straps are gonna go in with the plasma. The side plates are all cut out and welded on. I'm getting ready to pick her up now and cut the bottom slots in it. But she is fully welded up. I'm gonna be bringing her out and giving her a turbo, what they call a turbo pressure wash, and strip some of this paint off. We're gonna throw some quick paint on it. Um, up here in Maine this time of year, you're lucky if you get a day above 40. So it's like 42. I uh, wanna fire that pressure washer up and get that done. But uh, everything's contoured and full welded in. Oh, there it is. You can still see the old rust blisters and stuff, but it lays on, it's a, it's a uh, semi-gloss black, um, but it lays on pretty nice. It's oil-based, I thin it with 15% acetone, shoot it through a cheapy spray gun, and actually it lays on pretty decent. I've had good luck with this paint and trailers and whatnot. So, um, it looks better than it has the past 20 years. That's for darn sure. And it's gonna pop when we get some of that Caterpillar yellow on the front of the face. Um, that's going to actually see the snow and dirt and everything else. So definitely going to get beat up, but uh, this is where she's at. Well, there she is, all painted up. I mean, she won't look that pretty for very long, that's for sure. Um, and out in the yard, it's snowing. It's our first snowstorm of the year. Up here in Maine, and it looks like uh, over a foot of the heavy wet shit. Unfortunately, we'll have this on the tractor and ready to go because uh, I just painted it this morning. So, <laughs> oh well, go old school with the tractor for this storm. But she came up pretty good overall. The skids, everything's fabricated, everything's welded in. Uh, rigid mount snow pusher, just like a parking lot. Uh, I got the rear mount. Here in the back, I fabbed up. The bucket just slides right in and plasmaed out some slots in the top and the bottom. And what I do is I got 10,000 pound ratchet straps that go, the bucket The bucket just goes right in. And I'll, I'll, I'll add that clip to it as well. I just didn't want to run the bucket into it today. And the straps go right around the back of the bucket into here and ratchet on. And it's going nowhere. And it still has the ability for the Fisher plow trip edge to trip back because we slot it out down here on the side scoops to allow travel of the uh, cutting heads to trip back. So in a nutshell, that's the overall project. Came out pretty good, I'm, ha I'm happy with it. And it looks like we'll be testing it out because uh, winter's, winter's arrived here in uh, Maine. And I hate winter, but anyway, that was this project. I would have liked to have documented it better on the process, but here's what it is. Just me out here, busy shop, getting it done. Have a good day, guys.